Welcome to your tour of Earth Schooling 3rd grade. If you're a member and you need help logging in, you can watch our video logging into Earth Schooling 3rd grade. But right now we are going to start a tour of what the 3rd grade page looks like and how to navigate through it. Now keep in mind that every page of the Earth Schooling curriculum is the same. So if you're using multiple curricula, you will always find the same organization on each page. For example, at the top of every page is a guide to your grade. When you open this guide, you will see a complete list of what's in your grade, a description of your year, and at the very end, you will see a checklist that you can use to check off things that you have done throughout the year. Next, you will see a description of your grade, a brief description of what's included, and the goals that you have for that year. Right under that you will find a group of member photos and galleries and these are galleries of photos that members of Earth Schooling have taken of their classroom and their main lesson books and their crafts. There are a hundred or two hundred photos for each grade and these are very inspirational and helpful to give you additional visuals for the curriculum. Immediately after that is a guide how to use this page. It shows you how to download items, um, how to download to your computer if you have a Mac, how to download to your computer if you have a PC. It also has a little button here for support so that well, you can always have immediate access to our tech support page. Immediately after this you have three buttons here and these three buttons are something that I'll come back to but these three buttons are found on every curriculum page. Every curriculum page has a page of frequently asked questions for that grade. It has a page of extra things for that grade that are not required, but they're extra posters, um, contributions by members, or even extra lesson blocks. And it also has a third page, which includes a large number of math worksheets and extra resources that you can use for that grade. After the headings that we just went over, you will get down to your files. First you'll see your daily planners, and for grades 1 through 4, you have the option of using a daily planner guide or the lesson blocks. Daily planner lessons are lessons that are planned out so that you know what to do each day of the year and each hour of the day. So to give you a preview of what one of these looks like, you have right here the third grade block one starts out with an outline. Once you get through the introduction, you will reach the calendar. There's a calendar for each week of the grade, and each hour or each section of your grade has a description of what you will be doing during that time. Right underneath your calendar, you will find all of the lessons for that week. If you don't want to use the daily planners and you would like more flexibility in your lesson planning, you can use the lesson blocks. Now the lesson blocks have each block of third grade in a separate lesson planner. And then you can put those into a schedule or you can do them in any order you want to. We provide a sample planner here for you to use. And the sample planner gives you an introduction, it gives you a list of everything you have, and then it also shows you what you will be planning for each block and the order that we suggest doing them in. So if you want to use the block method, you will then go down below the blocks and you will choose what block you will be doing first. You will be doing perhaps one to two blocks first. You will go down to those blocks and you can choose. For example, in third grade, you can choose from Creation and Origin, Old Testament. You can choose from the art block. You also get an opportunity to see main lesson, bo lesson book samples from one of our students. 
So you can click on that at any time and see some lessons that this student has done. Keep in mind that you can access any of these items very easily from any computer or any mobile device like a tablet or a phone. So no matter what kind of device you're on, all you need to do is click on your block and it opens immediately. Then from this screen, you can print this block or you can simply scroll down and read it from your tablet, mobile phone, or computer. You can also save it to your computer. These are all the different blocks for third grade. As you go down the page, you'll see that you have many uh, block lessons as well as many resources for teachers. And they're all very clearly labeled. For example, for main lessons in farming, you have your main lesson blocks here. Then you have some posters and handouts, which are optional. You can print those if you want to or you don't need to. Then you have resources for the teacher. So you go down this page and you have all your lesson blocks here. And once again, just to remind you, if you are going to use the daily planners right at the top of the page here, you do not need to use the blocks. So you can stop scrolling right here. This will be the, the end of your curriculum. But I just want to make it clear that you choose one. You choose daily planners or lesson blocks. Once you scroll down the entire page, you've gone past the daily planners and past the lesson blocks, you finally get to the bottom of the page. And the bottom of the page, you have your MP3s for all the verses. And you also have teacher instruction videos. Every grade of Earth Schooling has a large number of teacher instruction videos. This is one thing that makes Earth Schooling unique and very valuable as a curriculum. Because not only do you get the curriculum, but you also get taught how to use the curriculum by certified Waldorf teachers. So for example, for the third grade curriculum, you have a third grade chalk drawing for teachers done by Brian Wolf, three ways to do a main lesson, you have a Waldorf wet on wet watercolor basics series done by Rick Tan, you have a crochet doily pattern and a visual for that, you have a block crayon tutorial series also done by Brian Wolf, and you have a complete set of Eurythmy lessons for third grade done by Eurythmist Cynthia Hoven. This is another thing that makes Earth Schooling unique. It is the only Waldorf inspired curriculum that has Eurythmy included in the curriculum. And you don't just get one video for your grade or one little guide about Eurythmy. You actually get one guide and one video for each thing that you will be doing in your curriculum for third grade. At the very end we have some vintage books that you can read on a tablet or on the computer. Now going back to these pages that I said we'd go back to, now that we've gone through the page, just as a quick review, you have at the top, you're getting started, you have your member photos, then you have your daily planners, then you have your daily planner blocks, and then you have all your lesson blocks, and at the very end you have your teacher support materials. Now, if you need help, you can go to the third grade frequently asked questions page. All you do is click there. It will take you directly to the page and then it has a bunch of questions. You can just backspace there if you want to go back to your third grade page and then you can check out the third grade enrichment. You can see what kind of extra things you have for third grade. Well, on our third grade enrichment page, we have available some supplemental stories, some supplemental lessons in handwork, science, and math, and a really wonderful space clearing lesson block that we always do at the beginning of every year. Now backspacing, I'm going to check out the third grade math worksheets and resource page. Here I see some gardening charts and 
some math resources that I can link to and print out for worksheets. And that is a quick tour of the third grade curriculum page. Thank you for coming and thank you for your interest in earth schooling.